I was like, okay, here's an offspring of Blackjack Mulligan of Mike Rotunda, and, you know, that's a stud on stud. Got to be something there, man. So Bray was a third generation with a pedigree. <laughs> like, holy cow. Because for those that, that don't know, Blackjack Mulligan, Bob, Bob Wyndham, was just, you know, he was he was a megastar in the 70s that was able to go from territory to territory. And wherever he went, Mulligan was on top. You know, Mulligan was a top heel wherever he went. And his last run in WWE, man, he was he was a huge baby face, a character baby face, just being himself. And I used to love to listen to Dusty Road stories about Baba Jack, you know, we were sitting there, you know, and, and, you know punking head. He goes, you over there, um, and you, you're drinking your beer like we ain't got no more. Slow down. You do it like, like Murdoch and Baba Jack. They sit there and they, they think that the beer is going to go away somewhere. That we can't get Mo just going down to the stove and get some more beer. They got to drink it all fast. And then they get all fucked up. They fall off the cliff. You got to learn how to sip. Take your time. Enjoy the beer. Have a good time with it. Don't get so fucked up. You don't know what's going on. And Bobby Jack. And that's, you know, Dream's name for Black Jack Mulligan was Bobby Jack. And it was just... Uh, I had the I had the pleasure of of, of meeting uh, Blackjack Mulligan a few occasions and was always like this effervescent guy that made sure that you know he said hello to everybody, made sure that uh, everybody was taken care of, <laughs> so to speak, but couldn't have been. Couldn't have been nicer to me, you know, every single time that I was around him. You know, he's got a reputation, he liked to fight, and um, tough son of a gun. But you, you come from that pedigree. And then you look at his dad, Mike Rotunda. Unbelievable amateur background. Unbelievable background in, in our business that had, that had done it all. Started in Florida with Barry. Uh, Barry Wyndham. Like Jack's son. And they became a tag team in Florida. They became a tag team in WWE. And Mike Rotunda was, was like this just unbelievable solid. He was the guy that you wanted on your card because you knew every time you put him out there that he was going to deliver a solid performance. He was always the most charismatic guy. But yet, when the bell rang... He had more charisma than anybody because he just knew what to do. And later on, him coming back is Erwin R. Scheister, you know, IRS, which is a character that will live in infamy in WWE and was able to, to pull that off great and then tell a story when the bell would ring that it was like, okay, there, this guy's a gimmick in IRS but he's a wrestler's wrestler that knew what the hell he was doing in the ring and knew exactly how to captivate the audience. And so it's the offspring. Uh, Mike married uh, Blackjack's daughter. Um, and man, that pedigree there just in and of itself is holy cow. And they produced um, three amazing children that, uh, Two of that went into the business and and were unbelievable. So.